21st century will be challenging on many fronts, from natural disasters resulting from climate change, to inequality, to refugee and terrorism crisis, to infectious diseases still killing millions of people today. We need not just new solutions, but new methods and new insights of arriving at solutions. Data, actionable insights, are increasingly being seen as part of the answer. Do you remember what happened in West Africa in 2015? That region experienced the worst Ebola outbreak, which claimed the lives of over 11,000 people. With limited resources, health workers were struggling. Could have we prevented this disease to spread and kill so many people if we had better information? Imagine that we could set, send the health workers to the places that actually have the highest risk of importing the disease before it's too late. So how can we act and inform before it's too late? In the past few years, we've also seen the phenomenal rise of mobile technology, and not just in rich countries. In Sub-Saharan Africa, the world's most digitally excluded region, some 44% of people today have mobile phones, and that number is only going to increase. Of course, the rise of mobile technology has very direct benefits. You will all agree. Farmers in rural Uganda now have information in real time about the weather. Migrants, displaced communities can connect with loved ones. And us, everyone, can have a voice using social media. But here is the indirect benefit, which for some may seem controversial. Every time we use our mobile phones, we leave digital traces. Digital traces that if anonymized and aggregated, they can tell about population movements, which information we could use to design models that can predict where communicable diseases will spread to next. Because at the end of the day, the mosquitoes that carry the vector, they don't fly far, but we do. And mobility is a key factor for spreading the disease to new locations. So let us use this information and provide the right insights to the right people so they could do their job better. Because still today, some 17 million people, according to WHO, die from communicable diseases. And we can do something about it. My team and I are working in a few African countries and Brazil with telecom operators using telecom data to look at mobility insights. We are working with the health teams on the ground and we are predicting, building tools that monitor where Ebola, Zika, malaria, dengue can spread to next. So that these people, these health workers can better plan interventions and act on time. And the applications of using such data to address societal problems does not just limit to public health. We are working on tools that monitor crop yield in rural Uganda we are building tools that guide urban planning in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and in Kampala, also Uganda. And we are building tools that monitor the uptake and usage of mobile money. Such insights can guide our public and development leaders to respond more effectively to emerging crises and vulnerabilities and build policies, create policies that are inclusive for everyone. But we all agree that these data that I'm talking about currently is and probably will remain to be in private hands, in telecom operators or tech giants that build the apps that we all use. My team and I are trying to bridge that gap to make sure that the public, the private data can be used to address societal problems without compromising privacy and making sure that the data that we create can be used for the benefit of everyone. Thank you.